And here with us, we have two beautiful ladies known as the Barbie Twins. How are you ladies doing today? Good, thank you for having us. You're welcome. I appreciate you for coming out. So here to my left, we have the one and only Miss Della Reese. Mm -hmm. And here to my right, we have the one and only Miss Delpha. Okay. Now, ladies, first off, tell us how long, where are you from, first off? Where are you ladies from? Everywhere. <laughs> okay. And our dad is from Barbados, so basically we are really, uh, we have a very mixed background, but we were born and raised in Miami, Florida. Sound like the Wonder Twins. <laughs> Now, what was it that actually got you ladies into modeling and competing in pageants and taking it to the next level? Well, modeling was always something that we wanted to do, but growing up, we were very quiet and to ourselves, but we had the dream of being models, of doing beauty pageants, and one day we had a talk with each other. We were like, we're either gonna be afraid and let the fear control us, or we're going to push our way, we're going to go out there, and we're going to do this. And so we were like, let's just jump right into it. And we did our, our first pageant, and that's where we won a modeling contract. And from the modeling contract, we had the um, TV contract where we got a, a, a television show of our own. So it just went on and on to fashion shows, to our lipstick line, and just so many things from that one pageant, believe it or not. Wow. wow. That's a blessing. Now, everyone knows about the Barbie twins. You've mm -hmm. heard about them somewhere. <laughs> How long have you guys been competing? Since we were, well, Delpha started at five. Okay. Really? Her first pageant was at five. I waited probably until I was about 16. I let oh, Delpha wow. try it out. Yeah. <laughs> I let Delpha try it out first, and then I was like, hmm, Delpha can do it. I think I can do it. <laughs> and then I did my very first pageant, and I won the very first one. I was hooked from then. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. I love it so, Miss Della Reese. I see, I look, I follow the Barbie twins, the Wonder Twins. We love the Barbie twins. Oh, we love you too. <laughs> and my girls, and my girls. So I seen that you recently um, had to give away your most recent title. You were in like somewhere in like Central Florida? Yes. Okay. Um, I competed for Miss um, U.S. Virgin Islands last year where I went on to compete at Miss United States. Mm -hmm. So... It was a really big pageant, 100 girls, and I ended up placing in the top five. I was actually second runner-up, so yes. that was a really big deal to compete nationally with, I mean, women from everywhere in the world to be in that top five and number two. Yes. I felt really proud of myself. You, it's definitely a great accomplishment. Very proud of you. <laughs> Thanks, Listen. girl. You won. Thank, right. I, I'll, right. I'll, I'll, thank you. <laughs> they slay won. runways. They slay right. pageants. You know what? Speaking of that, so Delpha, how, how is it now from you transitioning from being, you know, you, you guys are still moguls, uh, but now you are a wife and you are a new mom, still fairly new mom, because yes. little man is like only um, one years old now, the prince. He just turned one, yes. <laughs> so how does it feel to be a mompreneur? Uh, honestly, um, being a mompreneur, it's, it takes a lot of um, dedication. You have to really want to do it, It's you know, because... You know, for those of you who are mothers, we, un you know, you understand how drastically your life changed when you yes. become a mother. You know, it goes from just being all about you to all of a sudden you have this child that is completely dependent on you. If you don't feed them, they don't eat. If you right. don't bathe them, they don't bathe. If you don't get them out of their crib, they don't get up until they start, you know, mobilizing themselves. But basically this person is dependent on you. So it's like basically you're trying to do you but you also are responsible for the well-being and life of someone else. So it is very um, overwhelming at times. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes I have to take a moment to myself and kind of just try to regroup everything, like, okay, Delpha, come back, this and that, you know. But, you know, some days I find myself, it's just like all about my baby, you know. And I'm mm -hmm. like, I, I told myself um, I didn't want to lose myself. And uh, a very close, good friend of mine actually told me, she said, you know, Delpha, you're married. Mm -hmm. And you're about to have a child. Marriage is different, but when you have children, it's a, a completely different ball game because they're dependent on you. And she says you have to find a way to reinvent Delpha mm -hmm. as the mother and as the wife. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, I'm trying as okay. I go. It's it's honestly a learning experience yes, every day for me. You know, even right now, he's on set. 
-hmm. you know, and sometimes they're happy and sometimes they're not. Sometimes they get tired or however, but I mean, it's all about how you balance it. But um, it's definitely, definitely um, takes a lot of dedication and commitment. I think that's good because, you know, being that we are close to Mother's Day, you know, to be able to empower women that, you know, you can have it all. You can have the career, you can have the husband, and you can be the new mom and still embrace who you are prior to the marriage and prior to the child. So I want to commend you for that and taking your platform to another level to be able to be a mompreneur. I think that is awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we have some... Some, what the, about Miss Della Reese? The royal wedding. She, yes, she's definitely getting married wedding. this June. Yes, I'm getting married this <laughs> June. <laughs> Finally, somebody wants to marry me. <laughs> you got you a man. Right. right. Yeah. And it's, it's just a beautiful place to be in, especially um, for women that are independent and um, successful. A lot of times it's very hard to find someone that genuinely loves you mm -hmm. after you're in this certain spotlight. Mm -hmm. And what I like about him is that for him, he's a little more simple. He's not into the entertainment stuff. He would probably be quiet as a mouse if he was here right now because he's just not used to being in front of people. So it's more of a thing where we connect on a different level. It's not about entertainment or what I do. Of course, he's proud of what I do, but it's not about that. It's just about me. And I'm just happy to be in this place, being that, you know, I, I came from a long way relationship-wise. As Davika, you know, mm -hmm. um, I kissed a couple of frogs we before I got here, you know, to the bad frogs that didn't turn into princes. So, right. you know, before I got to this prince that I'm with now, and it, it just was a learning experience for me, and it makes me appreciate this relationship so much because... I know how it felt to be treated bad, to, you know, not be appreciated, to be cheated on, and on. just to go through all those things that people think you as someone that is successful or beautiful or whatever this box is they may put you in, mm -hmm. they wouldn't think that you would go through it, you know? Mm -hmm. And I've been there. I've been sad. I've been depressed. I've been like, oh, my God, why me? Mm -hmm. So to now be in this place where... This person loves me, whether or not my hair is done, whether or not I'm dressed up. You know, it's right. not about that. It's just about me. It's just a beautiful thing. And I'm really grateful to God. I really am. Yeah, oh, that's I'm a blessing. Blessing. really grateful. That is a blessing. So tell me, do you ladies have anything that you're working on right now you want to surprise us with? Yeah, we got a couple <laughs> surprises um, <laughs> coming from our business. Um, as you guys know, we have the lipstick line, Couture mm -hmm. Lips, where we sell lipstick, eyeshadow, and dual um, lip and eye glitter art. Okay. So we're getting ready to launch a new product. Okay. Um, we have our annual fashion show every year in September around our birthday because that's when we launched our line. So we're definitely bringing out two really cool products. So keep your eyes open. It's, it's going to be pretty fun. Okay, okay, All okay. Right. Perfect, perfect. Well, I know Delphi is about to do this new mommy pageant. Mommy, oh you know, but Mrs. Not even like that, because you know in pageantry world, this, they usually only highlight single women. So to have a, a pageant that's going to have all the glitz and glamour and honors the family, I think that's awesome. How, how do you feel about that? Um, it's, it's very exciting um, and also very nervous. I'm basically less than a week away from the pageant, so what? it's very like an emotional roller coaster, and you know, at the same time I'm excited about it. Um, but, you know, I'm just trying to prepare my mind, my body, my spirit, you know, because, of course, um, it's platform. You have the different areas of competition, interview, on stage. Um, but about, the thing about this passion that's really different is because I'm competing as a missus, um, it's really not just me. It's me and my family. So my wow. son has to be there. My husband has to be there. Um, if I win God's will, my husband is actually the person that crowns me. So it's, it's really family-based um, and family-orientated. So... Um, it's a lot going on with the pageant when it's just not, just not you showing up and competing. You mm -hmm. and your family are competing. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it's, it's challenging. It's challenging. Well, I know I hear the prince, and I know as mommy when we hear our kids going on, but before we let you lovely ladies go, we would, I would be remiss to know that you ladies have such a powerful platform. You guys are also big in the community. And go ahead and let our viewers know about your texts. Do not drive while texting pledge, because you all just had a big pledge recently in honor of your baby brother um, who was slaughtered by somebody who was texting and driving. So let's listen to what the Barbie twins have to say about 
not driving and texting. Yes, um, we started um, the Aaron Haley Foundation, No Text is Worth a Life, actually in honor of our brother Aaron, who was um, hit and killed by a driver that was texting while driving. Um, our brother was only 12 years old at the time. Um, basically, you know, it, it, texting while driving is something that a lot of people don't take serious. It's not something that you um, intentionally do. It's not something that people say, okay, I'm going to get out, get up, and text some text and, and basically take someone's life on the road. You know, it's, it's something that people don't take serious, you know. So um, our mission has been to raise awareness to get people to understand that it's not just dangerous, that it actually takes lives. It's actually even more likely to take a life than a person that's drinking and driving because people that are drinking and driving a lot of times are aware that they're drunk or they're surrounded by a person that's drunk. You know, if you, if you look up the stats, you'll see that it's actually proven stats wise because uh, a lot of times people don't think that it can happen to them. They don't think that they can make a mistake and, you know, hurt someone. But, um, you know, it's real and, you know, the, the stats are even higher when it comes to teenagers. Wow. Because, um, you know, with technology, with smartphones now, people don't get on the phone, people don't call anymore, people text. And, you know, our mission just really is to get people to see and to understand that no matter what it is that you have to say, it's not more important than the fact that you can actually kill someone if you're not paying attention because you're too busy on the phone texting somebody. Wow. Wow. That's so good I, food for thought. I said that was good food for thought. No, it, it definitely yeah. was. Um, I want to, I actually witnessed, well, you know, through the technology live world that we have today, I witnessed a um, young man, he was on his phone and he was like just speeding and oh, recording yeah. himself, just driving and all of a sudden, you know, he's driving down the highway at one something and boom, crash. Fatally. He thought it was a game. And, you know, a lot of times we think, like you said, oh, you know, I'm just doing it. It's not that serious. Um, I don't have plans to hurt anyone or myself, but, you know, that's what happens. So we have to be careful. We have to be careful. So I want to ask you a question before I let you ladies go. About this um, Miss USA, are you going to compete again? I'm definitely going back. Um, being in that top two, I was so close. I just feel with everything in me that I have what it takes to be Miss United States. So you do. You do. You do. Right yes, after you do. I get married, I will be back <laughs> training for next year. So I'm going to take a whole year oh, wow. and I'm going to prepare. So when I go back in there, I'm 100% ready again, you know, wow. because when you come back, you have to make an even bigger impression than you did the first time. So I'm definitely going to really take my time, really prepare, work my platform as always. But... Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, wow. the crown is mine. I'm going back. Oh, That's right. right. Go oh, get yeah, it, girl. Yeah. Right. <laughs> going back for it. Now, for someone who's competing in pageants, mm -hmm. for a young girl or a young lady who may be watching, what, a, what does it take to actually compete? Because you said a year. Yes. Well, I mean, everyone isn't as extreme as I am, but I'm, I'm extreme with anything. It can be the smallest task, and I'm going to, like, literally overdo it. But pageantry is a lot of fun. It's not just, you know you putting on this dress and being really skinny or whatever. And we actually have our own mentoring pageant because we wanted to give girls an opportunity that may not have had the money or don't have the, the um, extra cash to get a coach. Mm -hmm. So we actually have a pageant that is free of charge for girls ages 5 to 18 where we train them for a whole two months. We teach them how to walk, how to speak in front of people because believe it or not, pageantry really teaches you how to speak in front of people and you can go in an interview mm -hmm. and you will land that job because you literally have to interview in front of nine different judges with nine different personalities. Wow. So it is pretty intense. It's like the interview of your life. Wow. So we give those girls the training that they would need so if they do decide to pursue pageantry or modeling or acting or even a school teacher, whatever that right. dream is, pageantry is just something that boosts your confidence, boosts your self-esteem, and it gives you that confidence to go out there and be yourself. And for our pageant, we don't have any size limitation, any color limitation, hair limitation. So sometimes it's the tomboy that walks in that ends up with the crown. Sometimes it's the, the bigger girl that people think wouldn't have a chance that will walk away with our crown because it's more about us helping them become the best them that they are. Right. So that's really what pageantry is about. Mm -hmm. Being a sisterhood, these girls become friends. 
me personally, I have girls that are in my wedding that I met through pageantry. So wow. it's really a sisterhood, right. you know? Right. But right. when you want to be the best at something, you're going to train extra hard. So me personally, I train really hard and I prepare like I'm, I'm getting a million dollars. But I'm just like that. I'm, I'm a perfectionist. Right. So it can be the smallest task. And people will be like, oh, my gosh, she overdoing it. But I just take everything that I'm doing really serious. Okay, 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 okay. Right. Now, how does one actually get involved in your pageant? In our pageant, we, it's, we're going to actually have our um, registration opening pretty soon. Okay. But you just literally sign up. You come to the first um, meeting where you fill out the application, and we put you in the different divisions. But it's really... It's more than just the pageant. It's mentorship. Right. When they, most of our girls have extreme problems, like situations at home that are just terrible, where they've been raped, where they're um, homeless. I mean, mm -hmm. you name it, and they've been through it. Like, you would be surprised mm -hmm. at what these little 11-year-old girls are yes. dealing with. So after the pageant is done, we're at the schools, we're on the phones with them. Like, we become second moms to these girls. So mm -hmm. it's more than just the pageant. The pageant is the fun where they get to dress up and feel beautiful in front of their friends and family. But after that is where the hard work begins because right. literally... I get more calls from these girls <laughs> than I get from my fiance, literally. Like, they yeah. blow our phones up. But wow. it's that they're comfortable telling us things that they may not want to tell someone else. And that's really what it's about for us. It's really rewarding to be able to give back and be there for these girls. Right, so right. I, it's a mentorship. It's, it's a beautiful system. And the girls are lovely. I mean, some of them come in and they're the quietest girls, not really... Um, comfortable with their own skin yet and after the pageant they're so confident they they're singing dancing modeling whatever it is they want to do we make sure that they're doing that at the end of the pageant all right all right so I want to commend both of you ladies for actually being such a great team together and then extending your love to the young ladies who are out there in society who may be struggling or whether even if they're not struggling right. you're still building you know towards their future so I want to thank you for doing that Thanks, guys, for having us. <laughs> You're <laughs> welcome. Please tell the people where they can follow you at, where they can stay in touch with the Barbie Twins, all that good stuff. Um, you can find us on Instagram at the Barbie Twins, Twitter at the Barbie Twins, and on Facebook at the Barbie Twins. <laughs> Perfect. Like I said, I want to thank you ladies for stopping by the Mystery of Show. It was a pleasure speaking with you. I look forward to seeing you so much more in the future. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. Please stay tuned. We're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we'll come back with so much more. Also, guys, I want you to know that Chef Charles is, you know, in the building tonight, yes, he and he does have this beautiful setup here for us tonight. He would also like for you to step to the side when you get a chance and sign his coat, I believe he has over there. But mm -hmm. in the meantime, between time, we will be back with so much more. You won't want to miss it.